Hola vlog world, it's me Tito and today's video is a tutorial on how to decorate an egg. Easter is coming up so I decided to show you step by step on how to decorate an egg. I don't do it the traditional way of just taking an egg, dip it in dye and then calling it quits. I like to give life to the eggs I do, do it in 3D form and these are the results. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a panda bear egg. And it always starts with one of these, a regular standard extra large egg. You can use jumbo and whatever size you want. But we have to empty this first. So that's our first step. So now we're going to begin by getting rid of the egg yolk and white that is inside. How do you get rid of it? I find it much easier to use a screw. Just a regular screw, okay? And what you want to do is poke a hole in the end on both sides, bottom and top, okay? With gentle but firm pressure. Last thing you want to do is crack it and break the egg and then you have to start all over. So gentle pressure. You just want a small, tiny hole so you can get the egg white and yolk out of there okay that's all you need and then you want to do the same thing at the bottom so be very careful if you're afraid that you're going to break it it means that you're applying too much pressure go gentle and besides a dozen egg so if you have a mishap with 11 you'll get one right Then, once you get both hole done, top, bottom, you're going to take a paper clip, okay, and just open it up. And what you want to do is poke through the hole, and you want to break up the egg yolk that's inside and scramble it from within. This makes it much easier when you have to blow at the top to get it to come out at the bottom without too much effort. And that's it. Now it's empty. We're gonna take this, wash it from within with water and then let it dry. Then we can begin the next step. <sighs> done I did 12 because I like to have extra <sighs> but it takes a lot of you and I think I feel a little lightheaded so if you don't mind I think I'm gonna pass out now all right next step is to wash the eggs now you already poked the hose on both side and scrambled it and removed the inside now it's time to wash the egg the best way is just a small drizzle of water and then just pour it right inside fill it up okay. and then shake the egg make sure you get it all clean from inside and then blow now you want to do this several times to make sure that the egg inside is completely clean and then you do this for every single one of these eggs that you did. Our eggs are now completely washed inside and out. So just set that aside so it can dry. In the meantime, let's work on our clay uh, to build the arm, the legs. Um, since I decided to do a panda, I went online and just uh, printed a few photos of what a panda looks like to help me out visually. So we're going to do the clay to form the, the body part. The clay that I use is Copti and these are the best because they're oven baked. You shape it and they're very soft. Just keep kneading it, okay? And then you shape it. Once you have it at desired shape, 
you bake it and then it gets hard and then that's when I glue it onto the egg to form the 3D effect. Now you take the clay and you just shape it into any form that you want. In this case I'm doing the foot and the leg so just keep working on it and you gotta do equal parts for the left and the right leg so just keep working on it. Alright at this point this is the way it should look like uh, with the arms and leg attached to it. Now it's not gonna stay like this because you need to bake it so you're not gonna bake it with the egg so but for now because they come undone this is just a dry fit make sure everything is okay once all the pieces are in place and you're satisfied okay then you can go ahead and dismantle it and put them on your baking tray very carefully not to damage all the hard work you have done once you've taken everything apart, just make sure to save this particular egg with these pieces because not all the eggs are the same shape. So this one fits that. So don't forget that. Now you're gonna bake the clay in a toaster oven or regular oven and just set it at the lowest setting possible. And leave it inside for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, all the pieces have baked for 15 minutes and they're nice and cold now. So now we can go ahead and super glue all these pieces together to the egg. So that's our next step. And it dries almost instantly. So let's continue doing the whole thing. All right, right now I am going to be drawing the panda's facial features, body, the whole thing on this egg. So let's begin. After you are satisfied with the pencil mark on your figure, then let's go ahead and paint. I use acrylic paint. You can find this at any craft store. So after you have painted the figure, then you just use a marker for the finer detail like the eyes and the mouth. And there you are, the final product. A panda bear has to eat. This is why I also did some sugar cane and some leaves. And once I'm done with the base, then I'm gonna put it all together and I'll show you that at the end. And there you go, one panda bear egg made from a real egg. So if you wanna do one of these, just follow the instructions, very easy to do as you saw. And it doesn't have to be a panda bear, it could be any character or any animal. I have done several in the past, some Disney characters. And I even won first place at Disney three years in a row. So very easy to do. And if you do one, just leave me a comment below on how well you did. And remember to give me a big like, a big thumbs up if you like this video. And also hit the subscribe button down below. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. So until next time, Adiós amigos.